Hi, this is Marty from the Doherty Garden, and hopefully this is coming a little clearer. I'm going to try. i got the microphone about two inches away from my mouth, so who knows. Well, anyway, the reason I was uh, doing the videos today, uh, I tried to do one every once in a while, but weather-wise and everything else, a lot of things going with this COVID thing, really shaking everybody up. So, in the meantime, we're trying to catch up again. So the reason I did this one, because I said, okay, it's time to clean out some of the weeds, and I was looking at all your euphorbias, and I did one or two the other day, of the thorny ones, and this is the only euphorbia that is what they call thornless. And as you can see, there is literally just like a wood bush, no thorns on it, a rarity for the crown of thorns or euphorbia plant. And the reason it caught my attention is I just noticed that we're getting a little growth over here, on the side, and that's what I said. Eh, time to catch that moment. And like I say, it's uh, early June, and apparently June, so June bloom. You can see in a few sections, especially notably from the bottom up. Apparently, uh, there we go, right over there. That portion up there, and on a very little garden portion over there, we're actually got some growth going on. That, so we're following it. Uh, this plant was uh, gave me uh, several cuttings let me just take you over to where the other two cuttings are and there they are and they seem to be regressing well and both of them have experienced uh, new shoots coming out especially the one on the left I took it they were covered literally covered with weeds the weeds seem to be growing better than the regular stuff so I said okay let's capture the moment before all hell breaks loose with the sun and heat uh, we've been feeding the birds a lot of water really we love to get baths and they're going like crazy over in the water fountain there, so I'm still trying to capture them in that moment, but it's very difficult with birds because every time you do something, they sort of run away. Uh, we'll get there eventually. I got the raccoon the other day. He wasn't a happy person, but uh, he didn't know what I was doing. Anyway. Well, anyways, get back to the Euphorbia, uh, the crown of thorns. There is a new shoot now, so we'll just keep you abreast of what's going on here, and we'll follow through. Uh, most of the other euphorbias, uh, new shoots are all over the place. Apparently on this one, thornless one, it's really not all over the place. I could probably cut back a few, which I did with those uh, euphorbias over there. Those were from cuttings, if you can see them over there, through the uh, Fugium tea plant, which I have as a bonsai. i got to clean that up one day. And anyway, here we go. This is the uh, thornless euphorbia. And I call it the EU028 because that's the smaller size, uh, not smaller size, the medium size uh, flowers. As you can see, they're very pretty. They're round. That's the euphorbia. Nature is mostly all red. A few beige and a few light, uh, light beige, and some beige with a little pink edge and stuff like that. So we're still learning a lot about them. But uh, it's an unusual plant. Uh, apparently, a wide variety, but. If you like it, please like. Any comments, any growers' instructions, or all these, we'll share the well. Thank you for stopping by. Please like the video and subscribe to the Martin Doherty channel. Uh, hopefully, you'll get one or two more this year. And that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.